Today we have some showers that have been in the neighborhood overnight into this morning. We'll have more of that rain headed our way for the morning hours, but not an all day rain now. We have some uh, rain in store as we look live outside with our Lewiston auto camera. This is from uh, downtown Rochester right now on this kind of unsettled and uh, gray Thursday morning. Uh, enjoy at least some mild weather at this point. Temperatures have been fantastic the past couple of days. We managed to see uh, temperatures in the mid 70s yesterday. We had enough sunshine in the afternoon to help that happen and but a beautiful sunset. The result of some of those uh, clouds and showers in the distance. We had rain in some spots, but by and large a mild and dry evening. Pat Heck sent this picture in for Northwest Rochester. Showers moving in from the southeast to the northwest. More of that rain will continue to build in this morning. We had one big batch of rain around 1 o'clock this morning that yielded a, a tenth of an inch in Rochester at the airport. Noteworthy because that's the first measurable rainfall we've had so far this month of April. Dodge Center even more, almost a third of an inch. Albert Lee 57 hundredths of an inch. Mesa City 2 tenths of an inch. And Winona 6 hundredths of an inch. Right now again the pavement was wet a little bit ago. It has dried off a little bit, but it will get wet again here in the short term. That's our Lewis Donato camera from downtown Rochester 59 here at the weather patio in Northwest Rochester. Very mild morning. That's warmer than a typical high for this time of the year. 2.54 fair amount of moisture in the atmosphere. And again, that's going to set the stage for more rain chances, priming the atmosphere for more of those uh, rounds of rain uh, that will be headed our way. 57 at the airport is 57 in Dodge Center. Meanwhile, Mason City 55 and Decorah 57 degrees here in the Med City. Again, 57 at the Rochester Airport, 2.55 and a certain amount of moisture out there. Slightly, I wouldn't call it muggy, but definitely more humid than it has felt in quite some time. Going back to last summer, really at this point, air pressure is falling 20 29.7 inches in the, in the barometer. Showers moving in from southeast to northwest, rotating up and around an area of low pressure that's centered southwest. That system is going to work its way northeastward and bring us additional rain chances. But at times there will be breaks. We'll have showers this morning, off and on throughout the morning commute. Certainly a large batch of rain headed our way for the morning hours until at least about a, a noon or maybe shortly afternoon. Then a big break from the rain for much of the afternoon. Heading up to the Twin Cities, of course, the Twins play this afternoon. It does look dry for a big stretch of the afternoon, as does our area. Very sparse rain chances from around 1 until about 6 or 7 this evening. Uh, so we'll get kind of a sizable break, maybe even a few breaks of sunshine to help us reach the mid-60s. But then more rain does build in at times through tonight. And uh, we're in the warm sector of the system, certainly in the 50s at this hour. Rochester 57, Waterloo 57. 59 in Wausau, but looking northwestward, that's more seasonable. That's where the 40s are. Marshall, St. Cloud, Duluth, all in the 40s. And that's where we'll be later tonight. And high temperatures then in the coming days will be quite a bit cooler as we will be on the back side of that storm system uh, for tomorrow and the days beyond. But light showers today, still mild with some sun at times, 60s, and tomorrow some 50s with rain. And then the weekend looks mostly dry at this point. 56 for that morning commute. Clouds and light showers. A slight southeast breeze. We'll have rain the first half of the day. Then it breaks the sunshine this afternoon. 64 by 3 o'clock overall. High temperature today around 65 degrees. And easing back to the 50s and eventually 40s later tonight with an onset of more of that overnight rain. But here's Future Track watching that storm system as it slowly lifts to the north and east. Rain this morning. A sizable break for the mid part of the afternoon hours. And then the spotty showers in the evening give way to more widespread lane, rain later in the night and then wraparound showers stick around through tomorrow with a cool westerly breeze. Look for high temperatures in the 50s tomorrow and then very sparse rain chances for Saturday. Clouds hold on for the most part with maybe a break or two in the clouds but as that system then pulls out. Beautiful day for Sunday with a break from rain and some nice sun and another shot at the 60s, which is still pretty mild for this time of the year. Uh, so for the weekend, some showers, then very spotty activity Saturday and Sunday looks golden with some sun after those uh, Saturday spotty showers. Temperatures mild, uh, but easing down a bit to the more seasonable level with 50s more often than not in the coming days. 65 in Rochester today, 62 in Austin and 60 in Decorah. Showers, then maybe a peek at the sun this afternoon. Southeast winds around 10 to 15 miles per hour tonight. Showers, especially late in the night, 47, a light southeast breeze. Seven day forecast, we have spotty showers Saturday. Sunday looks fantastic and next week, just a couple of very small doses of rain, otherwise occasional cool sunshine with temperatures actually maybe even a couple of degrees cooler than the seasonal average for a change. Uh, we knew the, the warm summer weather wouldn't last forever. We knew that there'd be uh, maybe a, a, a makeup uh, for us and we're going to kind of even things out a little bit down the road. And some spring variety 